All right, thanks everybody for coming out to the unveiling of the Eclipse murals, or we're calling them, uh, by Vernon T. Bateman, who we came into contact with the last couple of months during struggles around exoneration. Uh, if you know Vernon, you know, you know Vernon. Uh, more people need to know Vernon because the man has been, uh, you know, he took decades of his life away from him, from his community, from his family, from his loved ones, from us, you know, even though we didn't know him at the time. Um, and as early as 2003, the, you know, the quote unquote alleged victim had, had admitted the police, you know, set her up. I mean, you know, they told her who to pinpoint and she said, no, it wasn't him later, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, he still served that time and he's still not free. You know, uh, he entered the physical prison and then entered the, you know, social prison. Right? I mean, can't see, his, you know, granddaughter, can't see, his, you know, grandson can't interact with children. You know, it's got to be, you know, home by nine o'clock. And in terms of condition, you know, the prison isn't just a system, like a physical space, the system throughout society. So he still subjects us to that. And also, you know, he hasn't gotten reparations for the suffering they put him and his family through and everybody else. Right. Uh, so that's why we're, we're, we got with him. Um, but, you know, then we learned he writes children's books, you know, he's an artist and, I mean, engaged citizen, community member, pretty much everything else, stand up dude, I must say. So, uh, yeah, we're really honored to be able to, like, just put this little thing together to, to celebrate and honor these murals that he donated to the community. As well, I think he'll show us some other ones that are available for sale as well, too. So please welcome my friend Vernon. My grandfather was the artist. His name was Bill Frank. Uh, I understand that he is coming on. teachings of my grandfather, how he raised me to <clears throat> try to be in his shadows and things like that. I put it like I'm on, on his shoulders type of thing. So it's over the city of Indianapolis and the sun and the sky beam at night. Uh, you can see the reflection of it. And that's what I did with this one. It's like the eclipse at night. And at nighttime, the sky going to dark, but this was this is the eclipse. But this is still a memory of me and my uh, grandfather. So that's what I did with this one. Sit down. Right. Before I break this one down, I do want to thank Pauline, uh, the district, the whole theater, the people that embraced me since I've been out. They gave me an opportunity to display my work. This Pauline, I, mean, I really wish everybody give her a hand. Yeah. Thank you. To have this beautiful artwork out here, and we thank Vernon for knocking on my door. This one is more like a country scene, and a partner he told me like do country type of thing. So I wanted to make it 3D. I do wanted to make it effective, but I do remember memories of my grandfather uh, teaching me how to fish and everything. So that's why I made it 3D that you can touch the flowers or whatever. It made it make it kind of give you an effective give you the feeling. But that's just another memory of me and my grandfather as well. This painting called this painting called grandson. Actually, today my grandson's birthday. I, I'm not allowed to be around him because of these stipulations and everything. So it's a vision of me and my grandson. You can see it. I'm gonna take y'all inside the source with. This is my buddy Jeff. He gave me the opportunity as well. He know my story, share my story. Let me see the newspaper article, Jeff. Yeah? Jeff heard my story as well. He embraced me. And uh, he's one of the best framers it, it is that I ran across since I've been out of prison. Uh, but these are the books that I did for my kids, for my grandson, and for my children while I was inside of prison. What's the name of it? This book dealing with bullying, gangs, and suicide for children. It's called They Can't Hurt Me No More. This book dealing with gun violence, social injustice. 
uh, unity, uh, equality, and police brutality. It's called If Bullets Can Cry. This book called Hope for Winfrey, the hope to win my freedom is broke down as an acronym. Saving our youth. This is the only book in the country that got Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Amar Ivory, and uh, uh, safety tips in the back of every book. Yeah, safety tips in the back of every tip. And uh, yeah, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Amar Ivory. But this one dealing with bullying, gangs, and suicide as well. This dealing with COVID 19 and safety tips in the back of every book. Out of Liberation Center, that's my man. He know that's my hood. That's my man. Okay. And Pastor Howard, they my heroes. That's what's going on. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this paint called Cookies and Milk. It's kind of back off whatever, but I created. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see the collar, not on his neck, it's around his ankle. That's just like me. Uh, they got it. So many severe separations. I ain't allowed, allowed to really have love at all for no female if, if without their approval. And uh, if you see the popsicle sticks, it represents the struggle and the chain. The chain is made out of popsicle sticks. I did all this. I did this paint and everything while I was inside of prison. It's called cookies and milk. Wow. Uh, anybody got any questions or uh, anything? Tell us how we can get your books. Uh, Please, thank you. On uh, Amazon. Uh, com. Baby22.com, The Liberation Center. Uh, here at the frame shop. <laughs> you want to get my signature, reach out to my team. The Barnes & Noble, support. Amazon, Target. Yeah. Anywhere that's my online. sister that's talking. <laughs> you know she she do it in the morning. She know more than me. Hey, spoke highly about her. That's yeah. always spoke highly yeah. about her. No doubt. No, no. yeah. That's my little bro. He, spoke he was in prison with me too. Yes. This is my little shorty. He taught me a lot. Taught me a lot too. This is my first too. time ever. Well, you know I'm coming. So, I love you, man. That you saw from Vernon T. Bateman, he was he spent 13 years of the 28 years he was locked up in solitary confinement. Um, the wardens and the white hats and some of the COs were so remorseful when they read his story themselves. They took the time to reach out and learn about his story because they couldn't understand how a man with his attitude and the character of him is in there. So they they. Um, he was, he was, the orders was to put him in a hole when he entered the prison. Mm -hmm. So he was in a hole for years straight and there was nothing they could do. They couldn't get him out. But what they did allow us to get the acrylics, the certain paints that he needed, and they allowed him to have them in the hole. And every painting that you see, he literally painted while in the yes. hole, not just in yes. the prison, in the hole of the prison. And they allowed me to pick them up on Saturdays. So my daughter and I used to go pick up every painting you see from him, from the illustrations, all five books, Mommy, I Wanna Fly, that he re first released in 2012, and then They Can't Hurt Me No More. Then um, he re-released them, Mommy, I Wanna Fly, and if, they, and if They Can't Hurt Me No More in 2020, when he released COVID-19, Hope for Winfrey, and If Bullets Could Cry. And um, all the books does ha do have safety tips in the back of them. One second. Come on, wait. Come on, lift away. Just paint. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This paint called Grandson. Today, my grandson's birthday. I ain't allowed to touch him, so I visualize being with him through art. A lot of times, I speak through art. So this would... It's called grandson. It's to my grandson. Happy birthday, DJ. Happy birthday, DJ! Happy birthday, DJ. Oh, yeah, I do need more signatures on the petition for people to sign. It'll, it'll help me a lot. I would say, you know, grab a stack of these. If you want more, give us your address. We'll drop them off to you because this is just tell me paragraphs about his story. QR code to the petition that also has a link to an article we wrote just detailing just, you know, how egregious, you know, this this was, you know, proving beyond a doubt his innocence, proving beyond a doubt that, you know, it was a miscarriage of justice, an intentional one on behalf of the Gary police. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, but the thing is, is that we really got to raise awareness around, around the struggle. Right. Uh, you know, it was in the news a little bit ago, but, you know, then other things come and dominate the news and gets off people's minds. But, 
you know, we're really trying to build on the momentum that we did when Leon Benson came back to the Liberation Center for his one year anniversary, one year homecoming being exonerated. And uh, that's when we linked up with Brian. And it was like, all right, well, you know, this year, you know, next year we'll be celebrating your one year of exoneration. That's right. So, Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, but it's all, but it's all in here. You know, it's one thing yeah. to you know sign it, but sign it, share it. You know, make sure your people share it, follow up with them, because uh, that's that's really the first step. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the Liberation Center. Uh, a lot of we thank God for all you supporters that's helping out and that um, pushes to get them clear and free. Thank you so much. I'll see you around next week. All right. Thank you, everybody that came up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.